Yes. Um. I think you should know that I can't remember anything. No response. He just arches his brow. I feel like I must repeat this. I don't remember anything. There was heavy drinking involved. Have you tried concentrating on something other than your personal affairs? Okay. Harsh but true. There is a sudden harsh edge to his voice. <laughs> yeah. Like he's tired of hearing about your personal affairs. Okay, no, that's fine. I agree. Um... Ooh. Well, we'll ask for help, but I'm completely lacking in basic information about even this organization we're in. Can you help me? Fine. We should get through this day first. Off hours begin at 9 p.m. If you're still having trouble then, I can give you an orientation. Okay, good. Uh... Right, let's go on. I want to find the body. Really? You look fine to me. The lieutenant gives you a look. Thur... Thur is if performing triage. I don't know if I said those words right. Um... I'm talking serious, unbelievable damage here. I saw myself in the mirror and had no idea who I was. This psychodrama is unbecoming of an officer. What? Psychodrama? Okay then. Focus on other people's troubles, <laughs> not your own. That is a relief. Okay, that's fine. Your heart beats twice like a fist. The serotonin deficiency makes your teeth clench. No, say nothing. Don't be... Don't... It's fine. The lieutenant glances at his electronic wristwatch. Okay, forget the it. The moment passes. The lieutenant glances at the sports watch on his wrist. Um, I assume he's not really going to want to tell us about himself. Me? Yes, you. I don't see how my life is pertinent to the investigation. Uh... We'll work better together if we have more rapport. Hmm, that's a fair point. All right, for the good of the investigation, what do you want to know? Tell me a secret about yourself. No. <laughs> Ask again. Your brain sends the signal to your lips, but they refuse the order. Something is paralyzing them. You're pretty sure it has something to do with the lieutenant's eyebrow. Okay, yeah, let's let's not persist with The lieutenant with that. relaxes his eyebrow. And you seem to regain control of yourself. Um, I feel like the half light is noobs. Just go wild brain speaking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Do you ever talk with yourself? What do you mean? You know, when you're thinking, do you ever have conversations with, like, your brain? I have no idea what you're talking about. Some people don't do that, you know. I do it. But some people, that's a real thing that some people don't have a voice in their head. The lieutenant's conceptualization skills must be rather rudimentary. Ah, I guess that's the conceptualization then. The lieutenant is a police officer of the old school. His concerns are material and extrinsic. Okay. But this isn't an old school case. Um. So. Wait, what did he say back to us? I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. Uh. <laughs> so you're saying your brain never just chimes in with advice or warnings or anything? I can't say that it does, no. When I need to think, I just use my notebook. Oh. The lieutenant produces his small blue notebook and idly thumbs through a few pages. 
We all have our different mediums. His is written. Okay. Okay. That's cool. You're super lucid, yet psychedelic. You don't need office supplies to connect to your nervous system. You're special. <laughs> We're special. <laughs> because we don't need to use a pen and paper. Uh... That's correct. That makes him a Beano clad, completely uncopped material, if you say so yourself. Wow. We're judgy. <laughs> um, special is certainly a word for it, yep. Okay, um. Glasses are cool. Are they? They are mostly just cumbersome. I mean, you can get nice ones. You could use a good, normal pair yourself. <laughs> we failed. <laughs> yeah, we need some. Um, okay. That's because I'm half Seolite, or quarter. My father's father was from Seoul. So was my grandmother, Seol. but from my mother's side. It's not an interesting topic. Um, I can ask what is Seoul, just to try and get some world building. It's a part of the world, officer. A geopolitical entity and a geographic division. I told you it wouldn't be interesting. World built! <laughs> Seo is a protectionist, isolationist, pan isolary state west of the Insulindian Isola. Actually, it's quite interesting. Some would even say mysterious. Oh, mysterious. Um, good normal pep. Bino clad means four eyed i.e. wearing glasses it sounded like it's an insult right um yeah it's the capital of our south korea yeah i don't know if it's meant to be that though i don't know is this like like i know you're saying it's a fictional world is it based on don't answer. I don't know. <laughs> You're only making it sound uninteresting. I still want to know more. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't speak a word of Seolite. I've never met either one of my grandparents, and I've never been to Seol. Okay. I'm a regular Reva Chaudière. Okay, cool. Fine. Although, I still think there's something interesting about you, Kim. That's all for now. Good. Let's change the subject. Uh, let's talk about the case. What do you want to know? Uh, literally anything about it. Maybe you can tell me what you do know to help me narrow it down a bit. I know literally nothing about it. Do you want me to brief you? Uh, brief, yes, that sounds good. Three days ago, the RCM emergencies desk received a report about a security guard who was found hanged in Martinez. An anonymous caller said there was a dead body behind the whirling in Rags hostel cafeteria. The cadaver had been there for four days. No one had come to investigate. Oh, so it had been there for four days already and now it's been there for another seven? <laughs> Yikes. Um, there are a lot of elements of our world, but it isn't our world, you think? Okay, cool. Uh, the money is also a real currency somewhere. The insults are French. Um... Wonder if it's part of the disorientation simulation. Uh, also, the city is named after the French anarchist Ravachol. Also, his accent sounds French, right? Um, three days ago. Now it's been here four plus seven. Did he say three? Oh, yeah, I said three. <laughs> uh... No, there, four days. Oh no, that's the seven. Okay, I see what you're saying. The cadaver has been there for four days. Three days ago. Seven. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, it was an anonymous caller. Uh, said there was a dead body. That's it, right. During that time. The victim had been stripped of his belongings. The caller did not identify him, but used the word lynching. 
There is an ongoing labor dispute between the local dock workers and the logistics company Wild Pines. I was told we should approach the death as part of this dispute. Mm. Labor dispute between the local dock workers and the logistics company Wild Pines. So that guy that's asleep over there is a dock worker. And he's wearing the Wild Pines jacket, right? So maybe the laborers are being worked too hard or something? I don't know. Uh, so we should approach the death as part of this dispute. Um, <laughs> I know I say that wrong, Crafty. <laughs> uh, She's just playing the character, even in the speech. <laughs> what? What speech? Oh wait, do you mean my... Are you still talking about my maths? <laughs> uh, um, does the briefing say anything about who the victim was? A security guard or worker of some sort hired by Wild Pines. This was just hearsay from Martinez, of course. We need to find out the truth. So we think that the victim is a security guard or worker of some sort from the logistics company. Okay. Why didn't we know anything about the caller? They didn't identify themselves in any way. The tone was muffled using a device of some sort. The desk could identify neither the caller's age nor sex. Why hide themselves? There's a strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what's seen as union matters the Dock Workers' Union is the de facto police in Martinez. Now it appears they've started executing too. We cannot allow that. Okay. Uh, what's the RCM? I did mention it before. The RCM Emergencies Desk received a report. Um, strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what seems like union matters. Is, is RCM the police? Like, is that us? I've already, yeah, I've, <laughs> I've already, new already forgetting things in character. <laughs> yeah. Um, our white square says RCM. Right, right. So that is us. Um, there is a lot of new information, so it's fair enough. There is a lot of information, yeah, it's like, it's a lot. Um, oh yeah, ask one, and they are, see, right, hold on then. Strong prejudice against involving us in union matters. Dock workers union is a de facto police in there. But they started executing, we can't allow. Uh, Right, so I'm gonna ask you. Yeah. That's us, the Revachol Citizens Militia. Revachol. We're the police in this city. Okay, Revachol Citizens Militia. Okay, okay. The RCM, or the Revachol Citizens Militia, is the police force you and him are part of. A self organized Peace Corps of the occupied city of Revachol. The RCM operates within a legal twilight, yet, its authority is rarely questioned. It's super useful to know this. Okay. It's self-organized though. Okay, like this world is probably just structured really differently to how our world, right? Um. So our job here is to find the killer. That's right. Ooh, secret task complete. Ask him to tell you about the case. We gain experience for that. Um. So, woo, good job, thank you. Um, if we're from different precincts, why are we on the same case? I'm afraid you and I are pawns in a, a pissing competition. Oh, why? What do you mean? You don't know. I assumed you were in on it. Uh... <laughs> I 
I don't remember being in on anything. That's good. Oh. You know what I'm in on? Retrograde amnesia. Better still than an imbecilic cop off. Cop off? It's just stupidity. We shouldn't waste any more time on it. If you want my take, <laughs> ask me after we've inspected the victim. Okay, after we've inspected the victim. Cool. We can do that. Um. I feel like we should let it go. Just in case we piss him off. But we got a new task, the pissing competition. Right, I'm still learning how things work, so I'm just gonna see what happens. Later. Okay. Was there anything else you wanted to know about the case? Um... <laughs> Kim, like, do the job! Get the body! Stop! <laughs> Gently, yeah. <laughs> oh, would you say this is a mysterious case? No, it's not a particularly mysterious case. Why not? The deceased is a security guard for a corporation yeah. involved in a labor dispute. It doesn't take a DeLorean polymath to put the pieces together. I just don't see the case getting more mysterious than that. Okay. Uh... <laughs> it probably isn't mysterious, but it could be sexy. What? Personally, I think labor disputes are very mysterious. Then you are in luck, because we are in the midst of a major strike by the dock workers' union. Maybe more than that. The union clearly wants a piece, not just of the industrial harbor, but the Wild Pines Corporation itself. So there's a major strike? A piece. Okay, so the workers want more. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. Fine. Is this a strike then? Or the first shots in a workers' coup? I don't know exactly what a coup is. <laughs> I would have called it a coup. I expect the case itself to be less challenging than navigating these community matters. This district isn't used to the RCM's presence, and the Union rarely overplays its hand, as it appears to have done in this case. A chicken coop? <laughs> it's basically someone taking control. It's why the chickens are in control. <laughs> okay, so... Right, I feel like I'm gonna have to do some learning while I'm playing this game. Um... So they're not used to our presence. Wait, so is this a strike or an attempted coup? Strike, coup, revolution. Yeah, he said it's coup. It's brigandage, coup. however you parse it. Uh, revolution, okay. You feel something rising through you. A familiar feeling. An opinion taken form. Um. <gasps> no. We're not feeding anyone a pigs. No. Uh, with this little foreknowledge, I am unsure which side to grind into pigs feed. <laughs> the decision must ferment in me. Also, nationalism. Oh, God. Uh, can anyone give me a quick definition of nationalism? <laughs> I don't think grounding one or the other side into pigs feed will do any favors. I am really, really smart. I have spent the last 20 seconds deciding on which side to ground into pig feed. Why? <laughs> the quickest definition is what the Nazis were. Okay. But there are miles of forms. So... Okay. So not that one then. <laughs> uh... Probably something racist. Right. Politics is habit-forming and hazardous. It is also irrelevant to police work. You're right to doubt the impulse. It might be detrimental to our task yeah, here. Yeah, I'm a good cop. From an imaginary fan. Now, was there anything else you wanted to know about the case? Um, I don't think I need the preliminary info again. I think we're good. Good. 
Tell me about the case again. You seem to be following me. Excuse me? Uh, nothing, just an observation. You have a, a distinctive way of walking. If I were to walk in front of you, we would surely collide. <laughs> what do you mean, distinctive? I hope you don't take this the wrong way. It's just a collegial observation. In the 57th, <gasps> we call it the Jamrock Shuffle. The Jamrock Shuffle? Officers from Jamrock's 41st Precinct tend to move a bit erratically. The, the, the Jamrock Shuffle? <laughs> oh my god. Wow, you're right about something amazing. <laughs> Um, it's when you're when you think your nation and its people traditions is better over any other. Okay, okay, right, yep, yep. And I think I understand that based on the name nationalism now. I, hopefully, I should be able to remember that. Um, distinctive means drunk, doesn't it? <laughs> Probably. Uh... They say it's a scene clearing technique developed by one of your lieutenants for gathering evidence. It's erratic yet thorough. Prioritizes containers. What? <laughs> What's containers? Um. I don't know. Containers contain, I guess. I'm making assumptions. We should move on. What? A scene clearing technique developed by one of your lieutenants gathering evidence? I'm so confused. Passing along frivolous interdepartmental stereotypes is not usually his oeuvre. He regrets bringing it up. Okay. Don't you stereotype me, Kim. Alright. I would like to go and find a dead body. Um... Apparently there's a pissing match between Precinct 41 and Precinct 57. Ask Kim about this after the initial inspection of the dead body. Right, yeah. Uh, ask your station for additional funds. So I need to go and use his radio or something. Uh, shortwave. Before we even do that. We've got three things we need to, to do on that. Oh no, that is a radio. Okay, that's fine. Um... It's how you work across a crime scene. They put things in thematic boxes, as it were. Oh. Maybe we'll understand that a bit more when we actually get to work across the crime scene. Hello again, sweetie. I see you've met up with your colleague. Yep. The lieutenant nods politely. Wait, who's sweetie? Reaction speed. Um, should I hit on her? <laughs> no, who's sweetie? Why, you are, officer. Uh, hmm, maybe I am. And have you found anyone to be sweet to? What? Um, <laughs> Noob about to hit on Granny. I think Granny hitting on us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, what about your husband, woman? Um. Uh. I don't know, Wink. Maybe I have. You rascal. <laughs> I'm too old for you and too married besides. Okay. I wondered when you were going to tell me you were married. You must forgive me. Leading me on. I'm getting so scatterbrained. I completely forgot to introduce myself. I'm Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but okay. I come here for tea when they're away. Morel and Gary, right? This Lena is wacky enough Lena. for the crew. Hire her on the spot. <laughs> Hire her on the spot. Um, so far you... <laughs> <laughs> Nil two <laughs> for the flinch. <laughs> oh no. Um, your cop senses higher grannies. <laughs> um, oh, sweeties need money. The sweeties get money. <laughs> um, 
How would you like to roll with me? I'm doing it. Whatever do you mean? Um. <laughs> Wait. Yes. Wait, riding backyards of corpses? What? Be my partner in crime. Sequence killers? Oh my. But I think you already have a partner, sweetie. <laughs> oh, wait, two Ds? Ridding? What does that? Oh, ridding back, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a different sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ridding backyards of corpses definitely seems <laughs> more. <laughs> more like what we should be doing than riding them. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Noob was thinking necromancy. Let her. <laughs> Oh no, that's so funny. Um, I mean, yeah, we do. I like him. A partner who needs you to help him get a corpse down from a tree. Oh, the corpse. The corpse still there in the tree. Um, uh, Kim, of course, I forgot I had you. Yes, and it seems to me that you do well to stick close to him. He has the look of an upstanding officer of the law. <laughs> someone you can lean on. And, sweetie, you are oh, looking unsteady. Everyone's just burning me. <laughs> I'm, like, trying to be smooth. And even if he weren't there, I don't think you'd have much use for me. No, don't be stupid. That's why I asked you. Three heads are better than two. Thank you, but... Martinez isn't the most wheelchair accessible place you see. I'd slow you down. I haven't actually been outside yet, so I don't know what it's like. Perhaps another time. She turns back to you with a hopeful glint in her eyes. Uh, should we ask her about a chair? Yes, dear. Uh, I'm a paraplegic. Okay. A paraplegic? is someone with limited or no ability to use the lower half of their body. Paraplegia is caused by spinal cord injuries, like falling from a great height, or a grenade explosion. No, I'm taking the most awkward conversation routes. <laughs> I'm just trying to be polite. <laughs> oh no, do I ask her if she fought in the war? I mean, we should not assume, but... These are both to proceed. This is the only other option. No, dear. I'm not quite that old. Oh. Although I was injured in the line of duty. She's not a granny. Um. Injured in the line of duty. A mountaineer? Nothing so glamorous, dear. Though when I was young, I dreamt of planting the Revacholian flag on some figurative peak. Let's just ask instead of guessing. What did you do then? I was a training and development manager at a rapidly expanding mail order shoe company. Training and development? Okay. <laughs> You'd think it would be a safe job, but I had to be everywhere. And well, once I happened to be oh. under some faulty scaffolding. Yikes. I was lucky. This was almost 20 years ago and I was compensated exceptionally well. One can only dream of such payoffs nowadays. She runs her hands over the chrome wheels of her chair. Okay, like, see, I'm glad I did that because we found out some information about her. New predicted to picking all the optional things first, no matter how ridiculous. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I can, I can apologize. That's quite all right. I'm used to people asking questions. I know they're thinking about it anyway. Yeah, like, I think... Maybe it's better to ask. Uh, she worked for Solando, did she? Who's Solando? Is that a shoe company? Addicted to the information? Yeah, that's me. Um, yeah, I don't know if 
you've noticed or wait I don't know if you've noticed but I don't know where I am or what I'm doing or anything I don't know why we're just taking counsel in this woman yes officer you look rather dazed like a stunned fox but surely things can't be that bad um I drank so hard I forgot literally everything oh my you know where we are right oh she's gonna answer some questions oh yeah so you got a lot of money after your injury i need money <laughs> oh dear um uh some seedy hotel no if i say i don't know she might give me more information a seaside hostel called the whirling in rags to be precise and the whirling itself is in Revshaw. What's the whirling? I, uh, honestly, I know diddly squat about Revishol. What kind of place is this? How would I even begin to tell you? Revishol is the most beautiful city in the world. We're fortunate to be here, you and I. Is it now? I haven't seen very many other cities personally, but everyone says so. Oh. Revishol is a rare jewel. This city used to rule the world, though it has seen better days. There's a pause as she studies your expression. You must look quite lost. So, this city used to rule the world. She hasn't actually been anywhere else. So this must be a big city then, or something. Kim stood there thinking, <laughs> take down the body. Speaking of history, <laughs> You know what year it is, yes? Um, it's 51, right? That's right, dear. How splendid. Here, take this pen. Knowledge should Ooh. always be rewarded. Knowledge should always be rewarded. We got a pen? Kind green ape pen? Her relief is palpable. She was getting pretty worried about you then. But now she relaxes her shoulders. Oh, friends. I can tell that this is taxing for you, so I'll just ask one more question. What regime are we living under? What mode of government? We need to answer this right to get more presents. Congrats on mugging the granny. <laughs> All right, some kind of democracy. Uh, dictatorship. It's not that. We are governed by intelligent machines. No. No. Cops, no. Some kind of democracy, maybe? No. Nope. Oh. Sadly not. Revishol is what's called a zone of control. Under an alliance of foreign powers called the Coalition. We have no government of our own, and what democracy we have is... Market driven. Under the alliance, powers called coalition. We have no government. Hi there. <laughs> Thank you so much. Nine months, Twitch baby. <laughs> How are you doing? You came for disco, but all I can hear is some old lady talking. Be nice. This is our new friend. She's she's the only brightness in this gloomy world <laughs> how you doing thank you so much for the game hider um turns out it's about a learning disco not a dancing disco <laughs> yes um <laughs> now learn from the granny we're nearly there um market driven uh how come there are cops i mean it's it's we've already heard that right it's individually run oh dear uh oh and you were doing so well oh no there aren't any cops in rivishal not in the traditional sense the status of law enforcement has been a complicated matter since the revolution but we should stop for today sweetie you look like you need a break Besides, I'm not the best person to explain the big things to anyone. Damn it. We, we fucked up. 
No need to thank Merry Christmas. Well, I'm very, very grateful. Um, I am good, Haida. How are you? I am learning stuff. She's scared now. She's realized you really are brain damaged. Um. So, how did I do? You were doing quite well up until oh, the fuck. end there. It does look like you're having trouble remembering things. History and places. Remembering reality in a word. It's very odd. Are you psychoanalyzing us right now? A sigh. The lieutenant buries his nose in his notebook. Oh god, don't be taking notes about us. But maybe a fresh set of eyes is what the world needs. And while I'm no doctor, such bouts of amnesia are often temporary. So I, I wouldn't worry too much. Yeah, it'll definitely come back, I'm sure. I mean, we're working on it, right? I think. 11%. Um... What is the revolution you mentioned? A uh, defeat, I'm afraid. The people of this archipelago tried to build something new, something different. The rest of the world didn't like it, so they came and ended it. This was 42 years ago. 42 years ago, so that's... Oh, eight? We're in 51 now. <laughs> Is that real maths? You are on a path, Api Vagio. What's oh, fucking hell? I've, oh, I'm not smart enough to play this game. What does that mean? Um. <laughs> Archipelago. A bunch of islands. I thought it was something to do with, like, the sea or something. <laughs> Archi Pelago. Pelago. Archi Pelago. So, oh, I know she's just said it as well. Um, so we're on a group of islands. Someone in the game might say it again. Yeah. <laughs> you thought it was an alcoholic drink with a little umbrella. I don't even know what that would be either. <laughs> uh, what does... Uh, that have to do with there being any cops? It has something to do with everything. I really don't know how to explain it better. So this place was supposed to be different, but they came and ended it. I bet they were building something good. Right. Who could tell me more? Someone more educated in sweeping matters. Maybe you should ask. She turns to the lieutenant. No, I'm not an encyclopedia. I won't be a guide either. I'm a detective. Kim is sick of our shit. Of course. Then, I don't know. Someone rich, maybe? Wealthy people are educated. Someone rich? Though, I don't know where you would find a wealthy person in Martinez. Martinez. Alright, Sweetie needs money. Does Sweetie's get money? Oh, Sweetie, I heard your conversation with the manager about your financial troubles. When do you get your next paycheck? You've got guns of steel and a chiseled jaw. Somewhere under the bloated alcohol layer. Maybe she'd like to sponsor you. Yeah, sponsor that chiseled jaw. <laughs> um, um, I was hoping you could be my sponsor. Oh, I'm sure you would make a wonderful gigolo, dear. <laughs> With those strong arms of yours. <laughs> this seems totally normal. Welfare checks aren't all they cracked up to be. My husband and I are barely scraping by. I thought you were rich. She's not really lusting after those biceps, man. It's more like an appraisal you give to a healthy specimen. <laughs> we can try and tug on her heartstrings, but we can't retry really it, but... 
We've got to get one of them, right? Like... Your deportment <gasps> remains dignified as you shed a single <laughs> tear. Oh no! <laughs> Do you know what I've just realised? We don't need our money. Like, I'm sure we can find some money from someone else. <laughs> oh no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, Crafty, what's a giggle? <laughs> Is that what she said? <laughs> it's a word I haven't heard. A young man paid or financially supported by a woman, typically an older woman, to be her escort or lover. Oh! I had no idea what I was getting myself into, to be fair. <laughs> um, oh no, I'm robbing the woman. Okay, it isn't easy for me to ask this of anyone. <laughs> but I'm at the end of my rope. Any money you have could help me. Oh no. Sweetie, I only have a few cents on me, but I, I could give you this to pawn. <gasps> just to tide you over. Oh no, a p commemorative pin. I want to give her it back. You're trying to sign up to be a toy boy here. <laughs> no, I've never heard that word hide. <laughs> um, Noob's character is, nev is to never think of what she is doing, if what she is doing makes sense until she realises she is mugging a granny. <laughs> Oh no, this is awful. Wonderful. He has a pin. <laughs> the pin is round and slightly tarnished. Three sailboats in bas relief with the sun hovering over the water behind them. A chipped green banner at the bottom reads Sam Baptiste, Summer 31, Dinghy Races. Um. Where can I pawn the pin? Cross the plaza and follow the road along the coast. Down by the water, there'll be a shack nestled against an old stone facade. That's the pawn shop. An old friend of my husband's goes there often. He says the owner is quite helpful. So, right. Do we need to be making notes of where things are? Um... I, I think that we get a map, don't we? Um, the danger of games that let you do basically anything. Oh, God. <laughs> I think I will... I'll promise I'll buy it back for you once I have more money. Oh, it's not an ancient family heirloom or anything, but I suppose it would be nice to get it back. About your pin. I hope you were able to pawn that old trinket. <gasps> I can give her it back. You should have it back. Oh, thank you, dear. I confess I am glad to see it again. I couldn't do it. Even the lieutenant seems happy with this turn of events. There we go, I'm gaining respect. Now, what else, sweetie? <laughs> Alright, let's go and like find that body in a tree somewhere. <laughs> of course, dear. <laughs> Good luck with your case. Oh, God. Bye, friends. Get in respect by giving the loot, giving back the loot after you mugged it, granny. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. I don't suppose this guy over here is local. Oh. That sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary eyed with joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? Oh god, we really are an alcoholic. Quick run before another granny appears. <laughs> uh, two hours? An hour would have been bad. Two hours is mystical. You have truly wiped out all trace of yourself. If you haven't thought about rum and lemonade yet. Um. Yeah, actually, should I be thinking about this? Looks like drinking hasn't turned out too well for me. Maybe you haven't turned out well for your drinking. <laughs> Have you thought about that? Get a goddamn rum and lemonade to yourself, <gasps> boy. 
Or better yet, lick that stain off the counter. Lick it, don't lick it, or lick it for me a little. <laughs> no! What happened, man? You used to be cool. Go get your boring normal person drink. <laughs> oh no, I'm such a boring normal person. <laughs> Wait, is time going while you walk now or just while you talk? Ooh, good point. Um <laughs> It would go well with those cigarettes. That's a great combination. Right, so we do need to find some booze, but we don't need to lick it. Like, no, that's gross. The worker is in a deep slumber. Perhaps he's on his way to where you just came from. Into the primordial darkness. Alright, we can try again. There is only Ooh. one way to wake this bone idol from his slumber. <gasps> Roar like a hurricane. Rip the buildings from the earth. Um, so we can either... <laughs> yell, wake up! This is an order! I am the law! Aw... No words, just the primordial scream. <laughs> um, I don't know which one's worse. <laughs> Time to just scream. Um, that might be better than. No, you know what? I am the law. No, I'm gonna scream. Why the yelling man? <laughs> Why the yelling man? <laughs> You am the law, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, the 30 something man slowly lifts his head and gives you a pensive look. Looks like a sow descendant. A lot of sow dock workers around. He is very chill for someone who just got yelled at. Um, just been away for a moment. I'm guessing we haven't seen the body yet, right? Nope. Yeah, I did mug a granny. But then I gave her the stuff back, and I did nearly lick a table. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, and now we've just screamed to wake this man up. People do respect me now. <laughs> Everyone was happy. Um. <laughs> uh... uh... You're alive? You looked out for the lung count there. Wait, what? No, he was just sleeping. What do you want, officer? He seems pissed off. <laughs> Shoo a noob. <laughs> um... uh... Tell me about Wild Pines. That's the name of my employer. I work in logistics. He doesn't sound too enthusiastic about this. How's that going? How's it going? <sighs> Don't want how many yard. <sighs> the, do uh, the dock worker lets out a big yawn, then stares at the cafeteria's terrace doors. Some fingerprints glisten on the glass. Haven't you noticed what's going on outside? No, I literally haven't slept outside yet. <laughs> Yawn chain, are you guys yawning now? <laughs> um, I've almost never been outside of this building. Good. We're in the middle of a strike down at the arbor, trying to force some sense into the executive board of Wild Pines. Okay, so this is one of the what? Yeah, this is the dock worker that is striking. For one, I get you some more shut eye in the mornings. Right to work, right to sleep, I say. That's an accent. Uh, because I did you say I stepped outside or slept outside? Because I would not be surprised if you slept outside at some point leading up to this before losing the shoes. Yeah, I um, I think I said stepped outside, <laughs> but we probably have slept outside. Uh, why are you sleeping here while the others are out striking? They got it. 
Mazarets go it is guarding the gate or just getting some sleep or was some hello west count country <laughs> country i'm not sure if it's west country or west county farmer accent yes <laughs> country <laughs> the way he says measure head implies ultimate trust in this head reckoner's physical prowess he seems like a worthy rival you should slay him slay him what uh who's behind organizing the strike we are the workers the union we know what we need what's right for us uh that makes sense uh we could ask if there's a leader okay i guess there's also everard Evra. he's in charge of the union he's smart knows how to negotiate he's got our back okay everard i really feel like i should be taking a note um don't you get the idea to kill random people as you walk around noob what who's killing people oh not just kill slay oh yeah it was us it was our brain <laughs> What about the dead body in the yard? Yeah, what about it? Um, you seem cool with it. Do you have many of those hanging from the trees here? You know, people die here every day. Someone's found in a ditch, another one falls in a mano, a third one gets eaten by stray dogs. You seem to know an awful lot about murder in this town. If someone has decided to die on top of a tree, then how is <laughs> it my concern? Um... Yeah, someone has to look into it. Looks like I'm that someone. Tell me what you know. I can tell you this. Trouble's ahead. Trouble's ahead? You have a pretty solid feeling that the man's not just mouthing off. He's strong. But even he has reasons to be cautious here. Um, what trouble? You heard what I said. Draw your own conclusions. That's all I know. And I prefer to keep it this way. Ooh, this is like some sort of, like, foreshadowing. <laughs> the lieutenant gives you a little nod, then makes a note in his blue notebook. Okay, trouble's coming. Wait, who did you think was doing some casual murder? Of course it was you, knew. So Union people think he was a killer, he thinks. Even Sleepy here. This doesn't help a lot, but it's something. Good work, detective. Union people think who was a killer? Union people think he was a killer, he thinks. Even Sleepy here. Who's a killer? Uh, that sentence doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> See anything interesting in your dreams? Thank God, no. Oh. <laughs> uh... The worker stares at you. His eyes dry from sleep. A web of wrinkles covers his tanned forehead. I don't know what you're talking about, kind sir. <laughs> Neither do I. But when I'm out, then I'm really out. No malt grains or whatever. No poetry stuff. Just quality time. Sounds peaceful. A little me time in the abyssal pelagic zone. You can never return to it now. Only detective work remains. Wakefulness and detection. Okay, cool. Yours? Indeed. Help yourself to some. Wait. No. Oh, it's empty. Sorry about that, pal. Oh, how dare you owe me a drink? Alright, we will let you sleep now. The dock worker doesn't answer. 
His head is already back down on the table. I mean, in sweet sleep. Now we can lick it. I don't feel like we're gonna get the option again. <laughs> but now we have permission. We could totally lick it. <laughs> okay, I think we're done in here. Let's go out into the wide world. <laughs> 